We move from current to current. So I don't know that like you're. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause, because I talk too much. Taylor, yeah. what did you say? Okay, I just. Um, so really quickly, one, um, I think it's a really bad idea to pay students because then they're they're automatically valued higher. And I actually think that the credit system is genius because um, it means that. I think there's some kinks that have to be worked out, and I think that's what everybody's flipping out over. But I think the idea that, oh, you're now putting in more time mm -hmm. is great. And I think when you all of a sudden are trading people, it like it does become weird. It does become awkward at times. And like some people, like it, it, like you don't want to mess with a team dynamic. You just want to like add to it. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I was going to say is I think that you should somehow develop this system so that over time it can be opened up to the entire Georgetown yeah. community. Because if you were somehow able to get other students interested, like this could be a, kind of a way to advertise almost for studio. So you're like, okay, oh, do you want to come in studio, test it out, um, use your Photoshop skills? Oh, you like studio? Okay, well, we're offering a class this semester. Well, like, what do they get yeah, for coming in? Because then that, the problem with that becomes like, is that coming in next time? Maybe if it's a test run, is it they just come in once? Like, it's a clue. No, but I guarantee you'll do that. Some students who are just interested in offering their skills. I would agree because, like, part of this to me is like, it's like I have like sometimes. some skills yeah. that like I would never school in this class, but my group never pursued oh, projects that we use them. And like, I like to do art. Like, I kind of want to write yeah. and like I want to get better. So like, if I had the opportunity that someone was looking for me to do that, I probably would do it in my free time. Yeah. Like, you don't. Sometimes the incentive is just to like do yeah. the things that you enjoy doing. Yeah. yeah. So we have to move on, man. But um. So I say this, like the credit, whatever. So if you have to guys design something for next semester, we're not gonna be able to do the credit, even if it were the best idea next semester. So you could build out and think more about it for the long term, but you still need something, some sort of earlier scaffolding for next semester. The thing is this, I would go back to the assumption that you're making that you need to incentivize students to do this. And I think they're required. Everyone has to spend at least five hours. We probably have to do with them worried about people who like. Which then gives you your incentive to share your skills that have to do with you. But then what if someone doesn't have that? They're still making an assumption. Yeah, they're just going to feel bad about that. What if you don't have like a bunch of bond board or graphic designer? That's also pressuring if you don't have that. Yeah. 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 And you want it, but I don't want to put it in the So I would be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't implement this next semester unless you guys actually could prove to me that like students didn't actually needed to be incentivized. Because whatever system you put in place, if it were just the fact that they would do it, there would be some way of scaffolding where it would happen without giving them, without requiring it or giving them extra credit or giving them currency of any sort, then that seems like adding a necessary bulk to it and that introducing things that could make that, because trading can't go wrong, right? A currency could go wrong. Like doing the one credit could disincentivize people if they're not going to spend, if they know they're not going to spend 15 hours on doing it. And I just don't know if I agree with the assumption that we're making here that you need to incentivize people to do it beyond just showing them that there's opportunities or needs in other places. I guess my thought of theory is like if one person is known in the class for being good at like graphic design, this could if there's no incentive for everyone to participate, it would just be like, yeah, like a line for that person. I'm saying there's a lot of good arguments for why you would need incentives, but like I don't that's still I don't think that, like, I think you could do it and it would just, like, that would be like, so I think we should find a way to test it. Okay. Now.